Welcome to Wisconsin Foodie. I'm Kyle Cherick, and for this week's episode, I brought you to the steps of Lakefront Brewery, one of our state's greatest microbreweries. Our state has had a long tradition of family breweries, and Lakefront continues the tradition with two brothers, Jim and Russ Klish, who have an eponymous beer and then a bunch of other brands that are terrific. We're going to go in, we're going to talk to Orlando Segura, who is the grand Cuba of brand marketing and getting the word out, and we're probably going to drink some beer into the brewery. So thanks for joining us. Beer is life, beer is joy, beer is comfort, and uh, beer is food. Hi, my name is Orlando Segura. I work at Lakefront Brewery, and I'm the National Marketing Manager. This brewery is known as the Frankenstein Brewery, so it's been put together from pieces of about 25 other dead breweries around the country, brought back to life. So what's going on right now is part, uh, part production, part art, part uh, recycling. The Lakefront Brewery philosophy is to make the best possible beer uh, and get it into the mouths and hands of as many people who want to drink the best beer from Wisconsin. So I'm going to take you to the brew house. We are brewing now. Some of the floor might be wet. Some of the floor might be slippery. There will be hoses you need to step over, machinery that you'll have to walk around. So watch your step coming into the brew house. So far on Lakefront Brewery Tours, three couples have actually met one another and ended up getting married. They all have children now, so I feel like the proud godfather. <laughs> so tell me, I mean, okay, an ex-cop, an engineer, now you're in a brewery, what the heck? <laughs> well, it happened about 25 years ago. We were living together in a um, little house in River West. Okay. And um, I remember we were drinking in a bar one day, just sort of looked at one another and said, um, you want to start a brewery? And he goes, yep. Now I'm making lakefront beer. We use nothing but good old Milwaukee River water. We just pump it right in. <laughs> we uh, are always trying to be innovative as far as our beer styles were concerned. We make traditional okay. innovative styles of beer. And we were the first brewery to do a fruit beer since Prohibition. No kidding. Uh, we were the first beer uh, brewery to brew an organic certified organic beer under its own label in the United States. So wow. we're the first brewery to have um, a beer made without barley, as in our new grist. Okay, right. Um, the spread of micros and brew pubs throughout right. the United States, throughout the world, people are turning to locally uh, made, handcrafted beer with flavor. Behind me is a fermentation tank with 29, 2,925 gallons of fermented good stuff in it. So that song, 99 bottles of beer on the wall, it's bigger than that here. Hey, Frank. Hey, Kyle, how's it going? Good, man, thanks for taking a minute or three for us. And no problem, welcome to the brew house here at Lakefront. So what is this behemoth of like? I mean, you're like the great and powerful Oz here in front of this brass control panel. Well, this actually is a traditional German style brew house that was imported from Europe. A lot of uh, German immigrants came here to Milwaukee and that's how we ended up with this kit. It's actually been in use for over 300 years, if you can believe that. This is actually the second stage in the process of making beer. All right. So that here we are. is not beer yet. This is not beer yet. This is beer pre-fermentation. Okay. This is the lautering system. Uh huh. There's actually a giant grain bed underneath. And as you can see, we just have started the rakes. Okay. Now these rakes will gently stir the grain as we extract the sweet wort down through the bottom. So basically you're making alcoholic meringue. That's correct. <laughs> We're basically uh, trying to make a barley tea, more or less. Right uh, this on. is our first batch of holiday spice beer. Uh, it includes uh, a lot of caramel malts, right. and then also some actual spice additions. Really? It's a nice, strong lager that'll get you through those cold winter months. Good to know. Between this and going up to the Bernie Brewer Chalet, I don't think I could be happier. Oh, it's a classic experience here at Lakefront. Truly. That's why I've chosen to join this team. It's just great to work for a small family-owned company here in Milwaukee. All right, so I just got a tour with the Grand Poo well, one of the two Grand Poobahs, the brothers, uh, you know, Jim Quish. Um, and so, and I know you're going to be my tour agent for the Great Taste in the West, which sure. I am totally stoked to go to. 
tell me a little bit about the philosophy of Lake Fontaine. The philosophy is simple. You take the best ingredients and make the best beer you can, and if you can use local ingredients, then even better. Does it make it better or does it just make it local? Well, I think uh, the benefit is you're exposing people to something that's made locally. We're in 33 states right now, we're in three countries, and it's exposing more people to the great stuff that's in Wisconsin. Yeah. It's as simple as that. It's really just that basic. Well, I am completely stoked to do this tour at uh, Great Taste in the Midwest with you. I can't wait to show you. I mean, you're like the concierge that I could only dream of. So, um, I don't know, for the moment, gross. Gross. <laughs>